how are companies like Wirecard and startup payment technology companies disrupting traditional lenders? I'm not sure if we, if we are really disrupting. I know it's a, it's a nice word, everyone loves the term disrupting, but we are creating devices or solutions for specific markets which have specific requirements. Uh, so we simply distribute and penetrate the market into areas which haven't been tapped yet. Biometric technology, many companies are starting to look into biometrics. Do you think that will become the payment method of the future? Biometric is something which you will use to make your payment factor more secure. Um, and I believe biometric is something which we can leverage to simply achieve something which is a better usability. What are the biggest security issues that are affecting uh, wearable technologies and mobile payment and mobile technology groups? We still have a, new, a growing um, concern when it comes to online payments. That this is one of the pain points which we need to address. Yeah. Which of course is going to be addressed. Um, and the solution is tokenization. Um, so instead of using static payment credentials, which are attackable of course, uh, we will have much more dynamic uh, payment tokens which we will leverage um, and thereby increasing the uh, security and, but also at the same time uh, lessen the burden for smaller merchants. Will we be using mobile payments in order to create a cashless society? Of course, there's a lot of discussions going on around cashless society, so Sweden is clearly on its way. Um, and uh, also Denmark put a rule in that merchants don't have to accept cash, um, so they're on the way. I believe cash is something which will still exist. It will not completely disappear, not in Sweden, not in Denmark, probably not in any country within the next 30 years. Um, but I believe that the electronic payment can create an overall value for the society. Um, and also reduce certain negative aspects around cash. And by the way, cash costs a lot of money. No one knows it because in the end it's the federal government paying for the cash distribution.